Hey guys, this is Radar Mario 21 back here for more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. So, now we're off the Pirates of the Pancreas ride, we gotta cross the bridge. So, cross the bridge we shall. A little bit of a puzzle here, see these bombs? Shoot an arrow and we start defacing statues, cause once again, blowing stuff up is cool. It's just the law of life. And by blowing stuff up and defacing the temple, we make an awesome bridge. Because bridges are cool when you blow, especially when you blow them up. And I want this freaking pot. For one arrow, great. I think these are both arrows, screw it, I want some damn health, but... I know I'm not getting any freaking health. Damn it all. Whatever. If I could reach over there, I can get health, but I think I need the stupid Scarecrow song, so screw it. I don't need your freaking arrow. Oh crap, I can't even do this yet. I need the small key. Crap. I made a mistake. I went the wrong way and... Can I get back across this bridge? I have to be creative about it, but... Or can I? Crap. I know an easier way. Screw it. Just suicide it. Really? Alright, I'm back here with less than one heart of health because I'm really playing super reckless right now. It's not a good thing at all. I really need to be more careful and sorry about the stupid beeping. It's going to persist for a while. But we have to go in this room first. I screwed up. I need a small key. And of course, this is the room that gets said small key. I see you, Floor Master. Can't fool me, dude. Please, for the love of God, give me a heart. For the love of God, give me a heart so I can stop this infernal beeping. No, you're just gonna give me stupid magic. All you're gonna give me is stupid freaking magic. You suck. Door number one, we have... Oh, this room is awesome. It's the medieval torture chamber room. Got the big old freaking X thing there. All you're missing is an Iron Maiden. I mean, that would be really badass if they had an Iron Maiden in here. No, I'm gonna die! Crap, crap! I died. I can't believe I freaking died. Ugh, I have to be brought back to life by a stupid fairy. Damn it. Yeah, and arrows. They don't give me freaking recovery hearts ever. It's like I'm playing Zelda 2 where they're allergic to give me. Where in Zelda 2, you don't get recovery hearts, you get a life spell that costs magic, and that's your only only means of survival, means of replenishing health. Otherwise, you're completely SOL. And hooray, small key, and I think there's a gold skull tool in another one of these rooms. I'm gonna go check. If I can open the freaking door, that would be great. If you're just gonna sit there, I'll gladly attack you and kill you. And I think I want this door on the left. I don't think I've been through here. No, I haven't. Awesome. Skulltula? Yeah! I am good. I think the rest is just crap, so I'm gonna get my Skulltula and get the hell out of here. Don't quote me on it, there might be something else of note, but I'm about 90% certain there's nothing else of importance here. Except maybe the boss key, I might need the boss key around here. I'm gonna look for the boss key, why not? Yeah, I don't wanna go on a wild chase for the freaking boss key, so might as well just finish combing this room.
This is, I think, where the boss key is. This is where Din's fire is 100% necessary. It's like that scene in Star Wars where the they're in the trash compactor and it's closing in on them. Except there's a lot more ghetto because it's just freaking wood with wooden spikes. It's like, if that crushes you, it's just like, ow? That's painful, I guess? And freaking re dead, let me kill you! Thank you! And I was right, there was the boss key in here, so thankfully I didn't forget. And we have the boss key and a random magic jar in front of it that's twisting through because reasons. Just reasons of awesomeness, let's just go with that. But now I got all the small keys, I got everything I need, I'm ready just to go through that bridge and actually get ready to kick this boss's ass because I don't think we have that much more to do here. This is the wrong room. I'm not going to fall for it. I'm just going to try and avoid the floor masters as much as possible because screw it, who in their right mind wants to freaking deal with them? Damn it, wrong way. I need to go one more room. Yeah, I came in on the right, damn it. Now, of course, all these invisible walls are just meant to screw you over. Just make you get lost, get you frustrated, but you can't frustrate me, boy. I know what I'm doing, to some extent. I'm an advanced player of this game. I'm not a 100% expert, but yeah, I know my way around Hyrule, especially in Ocarina of Time. I'm a veteran. I'm good. I'm competent. So, through the door of despair, we have... The boss door with platforming. Great. Yeah, good. You're not dying, Link. I can't let you die on me. I said I don't want you. To oh, and there's no boss in here, so I'm going to go outside and look for a fairy. Please tell me there's a freaking fairy. Because I desperately want one. No, arrows. Great. And magic. Awesome. The crap I didn't want. God forbid you should give me like a fairy in a bottle so I have some form of screw up insurance. No, that's too nice. But screw it, I'm just going to hover boot across this room because quite frankly it's a lot easier to do than making precision jumps. Because to hell with making precision jumps. Making precision jumps is for suckers. I can just slide across and open the boss door and no boss, just a pit of despair. Let's jump down the pit after the hover boots wear off, of course. And we're on a giant freaking drum. Yes, a giant freaking drum. And probably the most badass Zelda boss in this game. There are a lot of interesting theories about this guy. He is. Bongo Bongo, a dismembered shadow creature. There's all the theories about this guy saying he's related to the Sheikah, that he's related to the Twilight, to Zant, to the Twilight Realm and Twilight Princess, and I'm getting my ass kicked. And I can't even see where I am because that would make things way too easy. How about looking at him? Shoot! Shoot him! I'm going, I'm already sucking. I'm, I can't believe how badly I'm sucking. This is horrible. I might actually get a game over, like a legit game over. No, don't shoot him. Don't actually attack him. That would actually do something. That would be progress. We don't want progress. We don't want to win. We want to get a game over. Shield it! Use the shield! You dumbass! You're dying! You're dying! This is horrible! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you! Oh my god! 
This isn't that hard. This guy is difficult, but he's not ridiculously difficult. Attack him! Thank you! They're just wailing on him like a madman! I'm sorry for not talking too much, but holy crap, this guy's kicking my ass! I can't see! I'm dying! This is horrible! If I survive this, I'm gonna be thrilled. No, damn it! Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! Crap, 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 he's still not dead. I can't believe it! This sucks! Final save, damn it! Oh my god! Yes, I want to continue, damn it! Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm ready for my rematch for the Bongo Bongo, so let's freaking do this. I think I have a lot more health than I used than I did the first time, and I have two fairies in tow, so. Bongo Bongo, screw you! Before I forget, I want my big Gohan sword and I want it now. And holy crap, I'm getting a lot of static. This is crazy. There it goes. Alright, you know the drill. Shoot the hands. Try not to get hit by him like a freaking idiot. Okay, that's going to be my downfall, I swear. Actually hit him, thank you. Alright, hopefully I don't screw this up. Please God don't let me screw this up. I don't want to do it a third freaking time. Just wail into him. Screw you. Oh god, with the lens of truth you can see where his disembodied arms are. It's insane. Thank you, Z targeting for working. I love you. I don't love missing. Crap. There you are. And come on, you need to die. You need to freaking die already. And Link, you need to look at where you're shooting. Look at your target, attack him, let's do this. Buy demons, be driven. Back in the call, back in the call. Back in the call! Back in the call! Dude, what the frick? Just holy hell! How do we suck so bad at the first attempt and then the second try I just... freaking curb stomp this guy like he's nothing. And he turns into the black smoke monster static thingy, the glitch monster. Goodbye, Bongo Bongo! Back to the Twilight Realm with you, never to return. Or maybe you do return to Zan, who the hell knows. But uh, on a related note, he would be a cool final boss for that theoretical Ocarina of Time prequel, you know. He'd be the one pulling young Ganondorf strings. Only to have young Ganondorf betray him when he learns of the Triforce and he pledges, pledges quote-unquote fake allegiance to the King of Hyrule. Again, just a random thought, but be pretty cool to expand on the character of Bongo Bongo. He seems like a cool character, cool villain. And blah blah blah, at 17 hearts, how awesome. Let's get the hell out of here. Back to the Chamber of Farts, and big spoiler, we already know who the freaking sage is. She kept to tell us and ruined all the surprise and intrigue. Because here it is. Impa. <laughs> okay. 
Sure, as you expected, I came. I have come. I really have a dirty mind. Yeah, I thought you were the last of the Sheikah before Sheik. Yeah, I know who you are. You recognize me, you have to really explain who the hell you are. Until you guys almost went freaking extinct due to genocide, but that's a different story for a different day. Okay, that's what you're worried about that day seven years ago? How about that day 17 years ago when the freaking... Everyone went berserk and all that crap. Yeah, I have it. It's the Ocarina of Time. Zelda told me this crap. Yeah, on the White Bronco, I was there. Remember, I was there. Yeah, and... Okay, cool. But where is she? Where the hell is she? Tell me. Awesome. I'll meet her face to face. Did she get hot over the past seven years? I hope she does. There's a lot of crap going on. Yeah, about that. I'm probably going to have to kick his ass. Where? How do I go to Princess Zelda's side if I don't know where the hell she is? Ah, uh, your power's no help. Sorry. But we get... Just tell us already. It's the Shadow Medallion. It does nothing other than look cool on our menu screen. Yeah, just tell me where the hell she is. I'll look out for her when I know where the hell she is. And also assuming she doesn't just completely blow me off, but whatever. I'll meet you in Hyrule Field because there's one last thing I want to do, so hold on. Okay, I'm just outside in Hyrule Field, like right between Hyrule Castle Town and Kakariko Village, because this tree right here, I can bomb it. And I bet something cool will happen. Let's go down a rabbit hole and see. Just wait for this a-hole to turn around and kill him, and there it is. Gold Skull to a 49. How awesome. With the Gold Skull to a tow, I'll call it an episode. So until next time, this is Reddit R Mario 21. Signing out. See you then. Bye.